and welcome to another video. Um, today we're going to be doing something special. We're going to do an unboxing video. And um, it's something I've never done before, so please leave in the comments if you think I can improve in my unboxing skills. And also, forgive me if my hands are shaking, they're pretty cold. Me and my cameraman have been out in the bikes like literally half the day, and it's been so cold. So forgive, forgive me for my hands shaking. So as you can probably see on the screen behind me, we're doing an Airfix review. And I've got the box in front of me. I'm not going to show you just yet. Um, just I'll give you a few first impressions. I thought the box art's nice, and um, so yeah, I, I think the detail on the back is the Airfix Club and all is good. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, nice box art. On the back, you've got Airfix Club um, advertisement. So yeah, that's good. And I don't know whether you can see. You've Hang on, that's upside down. Silly me. You've got your Airfix passport and then you've got flying hours. And if you get so many flying hours, hang on, just looking. If you get so many of these, then you can get a free kit. So that's something worthwhile looking into. And I'm just going to open it, so I'm going to get the Stanley knife. This is a dangerous part. Airfix is this well wrapped up. The last one. So yeah, just close that. Yeah, here's the big bit. Open them. This is where the new Airfix kits all are. They're not easy to open. It's better to shake it. Oh, hang on. Destruction manuals. I'll leave that to the side, we'll look at that later. Um, so, yeah, here's a massive bag of sprues. We're going to open that now. Oh, here, transfer down the bottom here. So, transfer for decals. As you can probably say, bring it up close. Pretty nice. The only thing I don't like about these Airfix ones is you dip them in water and then you, you slide them off so it's really 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 hard to put them on. I'm just going to leave that in the bottom of the box for now and set the box to one side. And hang on, I might need it for cutting the bag open. So yeah, I'll cut these open and I'll give you a view of the inside. Yeah, here it is. A lot of you might have seen if you if you're on my Instagram channel, but Instagram page or whatever you call that, that I've been making a higher and I think you've seen a, a bit of that. But I'll be doing the same with this and I'll, I'll be posting photos. So yeah, I'll, I'll take a run through all the sprays. So, spray this is. Um, spray B. So nice, nice detailing in some of the parts. Don't know whether you can see. There's the hanger door. There, so it's nice detail on it. Hollows the ship. So that glues on to the, the top of the ship. So I'll take this over here. This is yeah, pretty much the same as the other one, the other side of the hull. Yeah. Sides of the ship. So yeah. That's pretty much the same. Oh okay. yeah. So here's the main part of the hull then. That's your superstructure and all the all the deck. 
and then that's your key. So that, that's pretty nice detailing on it. And I think these uh, these then um, will join on to the side. Can't really show you very well. These then will join on to the side as that. And then some of these parts then stick on to the side as those. So I think that's the that I have I've had. And then let me look at the instructions on the internet before I got this for Christmas. So I know a little how how to build it. Uh, this seems to be all the aircraft and gun guns. Don't know whether you can see that. It's a Ruger. Um nice nice helicopters. Merlin, don't know whether you can see that either. See so, ya? Yeah. Nice detailing on it. I like that. And then you've got your bow shape. That that goes in the bow and cuts the, through the water as the ship goes along. Bridge section, lifeboats. Another part of the bridge. So yeah, nice detailing on that. And then, oh, load of these floats. So yeah, that's all that's in the box really. Um, oh yes, instruction manual. Over here. It's pretty detailed. As you can see, all the instructions comes with the the number of the part and the, what the colour is. So that's good. And best part of the instructions. I'll just give you another view. Best part of the instructions in Airfix is the back, nice coloured paint sheet. And I notice in Reveil, the Reveil, it's just like this, with shaded colours, which is not very good at all. Like, you're trying to paint things on its dots and lines and all this. So yeah, definitely good thing Airfix do. Do a nice printed colour. So that's nice. Um, I think that's pretty much all for this video. Um, please follow me on Instagram if you have it. And please like, comment and subscribe. Bye.